Located at the end of South Michigan Avenue, at 1 million square feet, it is the second largest art museum in the U.S., surpassed only by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Its collection encompasses more than 5,000 years of human expression from cultures around the world and contains more than 260,000 works of art. The Art Institute is a gold mine of all sorts of paintings, photography, textiles, sculptures, and other artistic work. There are works here that you'll only find in Chicago, such as Nighthawks by Edward Hopper, Van Gogh's self-portrait, or this stunning work by Georgia O'Keeffe called Sky Above Clouds. Like most of the city, SAIC's initial home was destroyed by the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. After the fire, a group of Chicago businessmen set out to build something more influential. Eventually a new building was constructed on the corner of Adams and Michigan Avenue and the name was changed to the Art Institute of Chicago. These little window boxes embedded inside the walls that you can just peek into is incredible. It's like a portal to another little Honey I Shrunk the Kids sized universe. Definitely impressed. I love that by virtue of the way they're designed. These miniatures sort of force you into this void or stick room where you're craning your neck trying to see around the corner into the next room. The teens are doing well, you know, they, they don helmets and they don scarves and, and earmuffs and all kinds of fun stuff. So there's our Chicago So Bears was that picture. in 1985, that last yeah, probably. Oh, okay, all right, probably. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, uh... Uh, the that. Blackhawks, of course, every time they do well, they get the Blackhawks helmets, and then when the White Sox were winning in 2005, they, they got their socks hats.